So once again, muscular pharynx is this big swelling. Function is to move food. Exactly. <laughs> By what? Contracting. Excellent. South of the pharynx, from pretty much pharynx till you get to this first swelling here, which is digestive tract, hidden underneath here is a passageway. What do we call that passageway? The esophagus. Now it's hidden under all these other structures, but we know it has to be behind the pharynx and before this first chamber of its stomach. Okay, which then, if this is esophagus region, what is the first swelling? Crop, function of the crop? Store food. Second chamber is? Gizzard, function of the gizzard? Digest food by? Grinding it, so it helps grind the food. Then we have this big green thing. What's this green thing? The intestine. Function of the intestine? Absorb nutrients. All right, going back up here to the esophagus region. We have these big, huge, creamy structures on both sides. These would be seminal vesicles. Function of the vesicles. Seminal vesicles store what? Sperm. Are they in the male or the female? They're in the male side of this hermaphroditic worm. They're in the male system. Now these two little white creamy ones that are more anterior and off to the sides, these two are seminal receptacles. What do they do? They receive and store sperm. So they receive sperm from the other worm that they mate with. Now, again, they're much, much smaller. Now this worm happens to have beautiful heart rings that have not been uh, d damage in any way, which is, you can see these huge red swellings. So there are technically how many heart rings in the earthworm? Five. Even though you may have broke a few or a few have drained of blood, which means they're not as obvious, but there are five of these big, huge, red, purpley swellings, which are the heart rings that wrap around the esophagus. Now, these heart rings, if I move them t to the side, what we should see are these kind of more yellow structures that are sitting on top of the esophagus. What would those things be? They sit on top of the esophagus. They're part of the digestive system. Calciferous glands. What is their job? Neutralize acid, just like Tums. It releases calcium carbonate. Now if we go down the worm, I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Side. If you go to the dorsal side of the worm and you tilt the intestine and the crop and gizzard, you should see a nice red line that's going right on top of the digestive tract. That red line would be called the dorsal blood vessel. If I rotate to the other side, which maybe this is actually a better view, on the belly side, if I again move the digestive system to the side just a bit, you can see there's another nice red line. What is this red line? The ventral blood vessel. Now, directly next to the ventral blood vessel, in some of yours it's not as clear, but you definitely want to see if you can find yours. You should see this white line here. I'm going to pick it up under my probe. What is that white line that's running right here? That's the nerve cord. And it's on the belly, so we call it the ventral nerve cord. Now, do we have a ventral nerve cord? No. no. Ours is on what side? Dorsal. Theirs is ventral. Ours is, dors ours is dorsal. So that would be the ventral nerve cord, this big white cord running right down the belly of the worm. Okay. And that is all the structures. The brain wasn't obvious in this one, but I showed you all the brain when I came around. Okay.